Faces of FTHE News, August 4, 2019. Gilbert Santa Maria Filipino is staff Gilbert Santa Maria was shocked when he got a call to return to the Philippines and run Asia's oldest airline as its president and chief operating officer, COO. But the 53, hyphen year old Santa Maria, who has led some of the world's biggest companies, readily took on the challenge from Philippine Airlines Chair Lucio Tan, who hands it in for the role. The flash carrier matters. That's why I took the job at the University of the Philippines and Yale University educated Santa Maria. He has no airline background, but Santa Maria has 15 years of experience in the business process outsourcing (BTO) sector. Until early 2018, he was CEO of the Washington-based BTO company IBEX Global and oversaw 18,000 employees around the world. He has also worked with the telecare. Pepsi Cola PH and Unilever, among other companies. Rolina Barna Philippine Charity, Sweet State Office. So, General Manager Rolina Barna, former police chief of Cebu City, was less than two weeks into her job when President Rodrigo Duter dropped a bombshell off, so gaming operations must cease immediately. The blank of then was prompted by allegations of massive corruption in the agency, and Barna, whose predecessor was fired over alleged corruption issues, swiftly welcomed any investigation of the agency. But it soon emerged that the president's seemingly rash decision had come just two hours after a private meeting with Garmus, who implored him to help her resolve irregularities in the so. But she provided no further details. The question of whether or not there is corruption here, I will leave to investigators, Garmus said. The lotto better regular betters of the country's popular game of chance had a roller coaster ride last weekend when President Duter announced a blanket ban on all gaming operations of the Philippine Charity Sweet State Office. So, including lotto. Over the next four days, some 30,000 gaming outlets were shut down nationwide, leaving players, whose bets are a crucial source of revenue for the state run charity, out in the cold. But by Tuesday night, the president rescinded part of his order, saying that lotto outlets could again be open. The sport of better who missed out on a chance to try their luck was the only one crippled by the ban. More than 120,000 people connected to lotto outlets were left jobless, while the so lost about P250 million in revenue that could have gone to its charity operations. Richard Gordon is one of dangerous, Gordon warned, as there should be civilian supremacy. He added that the president, being from the province, does not know a lot of people and has a shallow bench from which to take a point he. The president countered that the retired officers were already civilians. He also described the senator's prompt as a depository of letters melted grain. Gordon seems to have taken the flirt in stride. He was happy that the president was concerned about his health, the senator said, just as he was. Concerned about Mr. Duter's health, she said. Ramon Ang, few individuals or even companies are in a position to make a lasting and significant change that will benefit millions for generations to come. But that is precisely what Ramon Ang, president of San Miguel Corporation, SMC, is set to do with the planned new Manila International Airport in Bulacan Province. SMC hopes to launch the groundbreaking event in the fourth quarter of 2019 for the project that hopes to solve the recurring problem, congestion in Manila's Ninoy Aquino International Airport, Naya. The new airport in Bulacan, Bulacan, should solve that with its at least four runways and passenger capacity of over 100 million a year, rise the design capacity of Naya. The airport, which opens in four to six years, will cost some P735 billion, easily the single most expensive infrastructure project so far. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.